join me on a slightly wet, very foggy, and slightly miserable day here in Bosnia, in the capital, Sarajevo. Now, today's adventure, I need, I don't need, I want to get to the old Winter Olympic abandoned bobsled thing. The thing that goes down and snakes around. What's the official name for it? Track? Bobsled track? Okay, well, I want to head there. So what's interesting is this bobsled track was made for the 1984 Olympics. And then, if you know anything about um, what happened here in the Balkans, in the old Yugoslavia, there was a big war. And since then, the bobsled track had been abandoned. Uh, I think there were rumors or they were gonna rebuild it, refurbish it. But who knows what's happened since then. So we're gonna check it out, figure out once and for all what's going on. And go from there. I think I'm the wrong way. That was the longest cable car ride of my life. So on the walk to the cable car, I was hit in the head by like either some piece of fruit or some like acorn or something. But it hurt like hell. Now it looks like someone's crapped on my hat. So I'm not sure whether to just wear the hat and pretend nothing's wrong or just hold the hat and People don't go, oh, that guy's got crap on his head. But, longest cable car of my life. But one thing, visibility, very poor. So we're not gonna get many great views this afternoon. First bend to the right. Coming up to the second bend, which banks left. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. It's bobsled time. Okay, we're on the straight. I wonder how fast you'd be going on this straight for here. Coming up to a nice big bend. So, if any of you bender lovers out there, we've got some steep bank that turns right all the way down, like a U. Uh, maybe that was like a TV part or a commentary part. I have no idea. I don't know anything about the 1984 Olympics as I was not quite alive. But uh, check out the graffiti that goes on this bend. It's pretty cool. So I'm six foot four. For you uh, Europeans, 196 centimeters. You can see how high this wall is. Super tall. So you probably have the bobsled up there, maybe. Come back down. But uh, I would not want to be on it. As you could probably imagine, it's probably scary as hell. Let's carry on down here. Can we do the whole track? Potentially, yes. Here we're coming into another corner. It's super banked from the very start. It goes whew, almost vertical, past vertical. As you can imagine, your bobsleds run along here. So if you're a bobsled, you're probably looking at this looking at coming into the next exit straight back in Ooh, 
holy moly this bank is even taller than the last one and then we have another bank down there which may be even taller again this is insane oh you bobsledders out there you're nuts you're crazy so zoom down trees beautiful trees so if you are bobsledding around here you can enjoy the view it's nice here you got another track change so probably what they do is you do a couple of first corners and then they can turn the track across and it shoots you just back up there you can slow down they can pick up the bobsled you can just practice the first few corners without having to go all the way to the bottom every single time. But I'm assuming when it's all covered in ice, you know, break the ice, move it across. It's a lot of effort. So, yeah. Okay, we're back on the straight. The middle of nowhere. I wonder if there's any bears in Bosnia. Again, we'll find out any bears. We get chased. You can't outrun a bear, but what can you do, huh? Okay, coming to the, I don't know what number corner this is. Another long corner. So you come from there, all the way around. What excitement it must have been. 1984. One minute you're driving in a Ford Escort back in the UK. Next, you're hurtling down a icy bobsled track in Yugoslavia. Wearing some tights. Wearing some old beat up spiked shoes maybe to help you run down the track. I don't know what you wore back in 1984. But, uh, yeah, we're having a hell of a ride. Finish the Olympics, go back home, jump back into your Ford Escort or something, whatever you decide to drive. What a time it would have been to be alive. Here I am, 2022. The glory days of communism are over. The tracks were abandoned. Nothing but low economy and sad times but hey what can you do i bet the soviets would have raced here next to the americans would have been a hell of an exciting time who knows the soviets are probably on mad drugs performance enhancing drugs still are today that's why russia's banned let me go under another name but uh what a time, what a time to be alive. Okay, so we're coming to the, the end of this corner to a slight little, uh, uh, what do they call it? A meander, I don't know. A little snakey snake through a little corner. To go. Okay, that's me rambling on, let's get to this corner. Not the tallest bank, but I suppose it's only a small corner. So it's about five foot, about five foot for all you uh, non-American slash British, maybe about 160 centimeters. Okay, coming into this corner over here. What would have been cooler is if you're racing down and you got this fog, you kind of no idea where you're going into. You go, oh, I can't see the corner. I'm blind. Then you like enter the corner real quick. Just the fog everywhere. Oh, I think that would have been an exciting time. 1984. Any of you guys alive in 1984? Not me. I would have came to the earth nine years later in 1993. The glory days. I missed it all. I missed everything. 
but just in time to see the beginnings of the internet. Now those were the good days. Playing on RuneScape, waiting 20 minutes for a one minute video to load on the internet. Dial up, your mother's shouting to you, get off the internet, I need to make a phone call. I suppose you didn't get to enjoy that in 1984. But here we go, enter in another corner. I wonder where the spectators would have been. Would they have been allowed to be close up, almost touching the sled? Or would they have been kept further back, maybe up there? I don't know. But what I do know is it's another steep bank. So it would have been another fast corner. I wonder if we're like halfway or if we're like almost at the end kind of hope we're at the end because I don't want to walk too much further. I feel like I've been walking forever. Oh, actually, I think this is the last corner of the track because you got the straight and it goes uphill. So this is where you would have ended. You would have slowed down at the top, maybe on that bridge right here, which we're going to climb, is where they would have had their stopwatches. And they would have stopped the time and gone, oh, congratulations. Jamaica, you've done it in one minute, 12 seconds, and 33 milliseconds. And the crowd has cheered, and you can imagine the scenes. And maybe the Soviets came next, and the Soviet Union, they might have done it in one minute, nine seconds. I don't know. But I would have been supporting Jamaica if I was born in 1984. So, um, okay. The track just kind of ends, but we're going to go on this bridge because this would have been an important bridge. Man, check it out. You'd have been standing here. You'd have been, uh, let me put my water bottle down. You'd be here with your stopwatch and you'd have hit a you'd have, and then you would have conferred with the judges and given your time. What did you have? I had one minute twelve. Same. Okay, let's write it down. You jot it down on a bit of paper. And then they would put it on the big screen, maybe. I don't know how the Olympics work. I'm making it up. And then they would have been cheering at the top, the coaches. It's quite cool, actually. It's quite cool. Gro Bosnia Sarajevo. Pretty cool. So, my plans now, I'm probably going to walk back up the track and then slowly make my way back down into uh, Sarajevo and enjoy the rest of the day, pack up a little bit as I head to Zagreb for a day tomorrow. And I will enjoy that, maybe. But, uh, yeah, I've taken you down the track, the 1984 Olympic track. Cool little place, huh? Well, like all good things, it must come to an end. So therefore, I shall say goodbye. Goodbye.